Francisco. My favorite character in the Master Tankers. And uh, he was massaging your nose. And that's an inferno. It's beautiful. I wanted to document it one last time. They were showing. Hey guys, Justice Curry here. If you recognize the background, then you're in for a treat. We are at Stephen Bashotti's house. He is an awesome human being most of the time. He has a wonderful collection. We have some amazing debates. He's sitting right here. He didn't want to be on camera. I forced him. Um, I called in some favors, and he agreed to talk with me a little while. How are you, Stephen? Steve Bashotti here! <laughs> That's my trademark. You are not allowed to take it. My lawyers will be in touch with you shortly. The whole reason that I wanted to uh, have a little conversation with, with you is because you got to do something that I am extremely jealous for. So I want to live vicariously through you. I want you to tell me about the experience. And what I'm referring to is PowerCon. Mm. Now for the viewers at home, that don't know exactly, maybe they don't know what PowerCon is or what it means or where it's at. Can you explain in just a, a summary? Like, what, if you looked up on Wikipedia, what is PowerCon? Give me the bullet points. PowerCon is a Masters of the Universe convention that uh, has, for the fat past few years, been in Torrance, California, which is right by. It's wrote, it's, uh, I don't understand the area, but it's right by or is part of LA. Um, takes place in a, a nice Marriott hotel um, there and uh, we stayed in that hotel the, uh, the convention was downstairs in the convention room yeah. um, it's a mecca for big masters of the universe fans uh, you will find friends there you will find friendly people you will find creators you'll find a lot of people that have contributed to the brand one way or another, whether it be art or contributed to the toys or contributed to the cartoons or, or even the movie or, you know, just just about anything. And then you'll find um, offshoots um, uh, like uh, Mike Zolotro. I don't know. Yeah, Michael Zolotro. Is that okay? Zolo World. Zolo World. He's there with his stuff. He does Underworld Customs, which you got the patent for those... Um, bootleg or knockoff warrior beasts yeah. and things like that. Yeah, and, he's um, remaking them all. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're they're really fun. He's a great guy. Yeah, he seems funny. Him. And then you know the four horsemen were there. The sculptors behind the Masters of the Universe classics and the Mythic Legions, they were there. Um, Mark Taylor was there, who uh, I consider a huge contributor, if not the main contributor for He Man. Yep. Um, there are people who will debate that, but but. Uh, <laughs> Either way, the guy is the guy's an amazing artist, and I, I think he's awesome. Didn't they talk about that in the toys that made us? Some of the the back history of who yeah, was the there's, creator. there's a lot of people, you know, saying they did this and they did that, and I, I I'm not saying there. I'm sure there was many people who contributed to Masters of, of the Universe. So basically, PowerCon is like a San Diego Comic Con for He-Man, just much smaller than San Diego Comic Con, but very specific to He-Man, which may it's which. For just He-Man, it's a pretty big convention. Of course, of course. Yeah. And, and, you know, Joe Con, the G.I. Joe Con, that mm -hmm. has been going on forever, and apparently, I guess, 2018 was the last one. Hopefully, they uh, kick that back up in some other type of fashion. But there's different, there's the uh, the My Little Pony Con that we have attended a couple times, uh, the Beanie Baby Cons, the, um, you know... You don't remember Somebody that? Somebody else. Some fair, oh, I'm confusing you with... Yeah, never mind. Scratch that, edit it out I later. was in the convention. I didn't attend. <laughs> well, let's talk about some of the wonderful things you got. Um, and we can talk about some of the stories and, and fun things that... Because I, I watched um, some of your videos, you and Jeremy DeWitt, yep. um, from your Podcasters of the Universe. Yep. And I'll put a link right here 
uh, where I was a member or a special guest for the podcasters of the universe, and I totally destroyed the show, and Stephen was mad at me um, for weeks on after that. But, but you can see find the show at iTunes, Podomatic, Stitcher, Spotify, so any of those places, and probably even more, you can uh, you can find us. Yeah, and it's a He-Man specific yep. podcast, and it's yep. a lot of fun. Um, can you show me some of these treasures? Let's. See, these are the ones I love the most. This one. We already had a about a negotiation, and Steven was trying to take all my money, but I saved a little bit, but in the end, I had to buy it. So Muscle Men, um, I love Muscle Men. I grew up playing with Muscle Men. Well, Super 7 got the license and made these Motussels, which are basically He-Man-inspired Muscle Men. So they're the same little kind of Keshi-type uh, plastic, hard plastic figures in the He-Man sculpt. But PowerCon right here, they had an exclusive. So these are like the slime ones. I've, it's sealed, so I'm not going to open it and show you. But I've seen past ones where it's kind of like a green translucent yep. uh, type looking figure. And as you can see, there's two bad. And there'll probably be a Snake Mountain in there and uh, maybe a Battle Cat. Some pretty cool things in there. I mean, Jeremy had one and he uh, opened his. So oh, he we did. were playing around with it. <laughs> They're neat. They're neat. Yeah. Uh, fun fact. They float because my kids love playing with the muscle man. I have them in the, the downstairs bathroom. Whereas, and why am I yeah, telling you it's this? Your who kids, would, huh? Who would care about it? Your kids, huh? It's real old school muscle men uh -huh. sink. These real? ones oh. float. Sounds like you've done a lot of research <laughs> on that, huh? Cut, cut. No, <laughs> kidding. Uh, here's some fantastic things that caught my eyes. I'm going to grab the camera if you can kind of show people what this is okay so um this is a storyboard that i got from robert lamb who is uh i believe he he wrote and storyboarded for the filmation um vintage cartoon vintage cartoon and this is for house of shakoti part two uh pretty cool he was a great guy i talked to him um for quite a while and, and just you know he'll talk to you all day he's really he's really uh for people that don't awesome. understand storyboards, can you kind of tell them what this is about? This is kind of how they, they, I don't, it's not, he wasn't the director, but this is kind of how they direct the cartoon. This is how you, this is a sketch of a cartoon. This yep. is how you, uh, the blueprints. Of yeah, a the, the blueprints. Exactly. Um, and then the animators take it from here. Um. So yeah, it was just very interesting. Uh, it, it talks like what's happening. Yep. Trouble we had with that evil was mask. That mask might be better to leave their pyramid buried. So they're having a conversation. They're showing that the heads are turning, um, zooming in, or yep. Or it directs the yeah you know, what exactly the so this the is show not, is going to look like. This is not an original. No, right? No, then it wasn't. You know. It was priced accordingly. This wasn't the price. right. It didn't break the bank, but <laughs> um, be, oh my gosh, this would be. But still very cool, and, and I like the fact that um, he also told me that uh, that's enough. Buy your own. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, he, he also said that you know there's an extra scene in here that isn't in the cartoon. Oh really? And uh, so I, I'll get to see what he says. If you follow along with the cartoon while you're watching the cartoon and follow along with these, you'll find out the scene that got cut that's exciting so i found that it was it was fun and you know honestly just talking to, to robert was enough mm -hmm. um he answered a ton of questions i was like well how do you you know how do you draw pictures and make it nail that like 22 minute mark you know right. how do you do that and he was telling me about lengths of film and just giving me all kinds of information that you can't buy so yeah right very fun i saw there was also some cosplayers there that very was, great good cosplayers holy moly some there beautiful was a women fisto. some amazing guys that had like authentic looking yeah you said fisto so there was a great guy with a great fisto costume oh really hopefully yeah. i'll find a picture and, and put it in here so you guys can see what we're talking about um did you get pictures with any of the cosplayers um no, I really didn't. I, some no. guys love to get that. Like uh, our friend Jason Boonstra, when he yeah. goes to some cons, yeah. he wants every pretty lady he's getting a picture of. Yeah. Um, and I saw, I think Jeremy DeWitt had some pictures. Sure. With, with some of the cosplayers. But, uh, you know, they get enough attention. They don't need more from me. That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of attention, this drew my attention right here. Can you tell us what we're looking at? 
Uh, that's an uh, uh, animation style of Fisto. Anybody who knows me or follows me or if listens to the podcast knows that Fisto is my favorite character in the Masters of the Universe. Um, so I had to pick a filmation cell of him up. That's really neat. Wow. So this was an actual cartoon cell that we saw mm-hmm. as kids on the TV. It was from this yep. actual original cell. Wow. <laughs> that looks like something different. Um, I'm a... Wow. <laughs> what? Yeah, you... <laughs> You followed along with what I was thinking. So we got exit right low OS. And me and you have uh, have bought some of these in the past there. as well. Oh, okay. Yep, these are the ones that I sold to you after we did a, a deal. Wow. Yep. I paid a pretty penny for those. These, this one was surprisingly well priced compared to the <laughs> No way. I sold it at the same price. Whoa. This actually did not come from PowerCon. Wow. This is, this is, you just, everybody, Justin just grabbed a bunch of my stuff and put it here. <laughs> so there's, there's things that didn't come from PowerCon. This came from a listener of the My Wife is Gonna Kill Me podcast, Michael Redding. Are you kidding? Um, was sent to, to, uh, he sent, uh, Travis and Pete and I all gifts. And Whoa. You can find that, um, that podcast on, uh, How many podcasts are you on? Like just 12? Two, just two. Just, what the heck do we have going on here? Now this is really cool. This is one of my prized possessions I brought back. Um, this is what I was talking earlier about Mark Taylor. Mm-hmm. Um, these are his, this is a set of his sketches, early sketches um, for, for Masters of the Universe. Um, wow. And there's some pretty cool stuff in here. This was surprisingly so well priced. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, oh. I hope I don't misspeak here because I think that these these are obviously the castle stickers. Yep. And I think they were done by Mark's wife. Yes. Yes. Were they? They is, were. Is that yep. accurate? Yeah, it is accurate. Um, and she was there as well. Yeah, they're a little little team. So. Yeah, these this you know. I understand cool. Super Seven made it floor mat yeah it was there part. really it was there that's cool really cool piece wow. um, i don't know who this turned into or what this was but this is something or maybe that, it was nobody right maybe it's just a figure that never happened a concept that they just never made but uh oh the war cat can i have just this one no <laughs> If you said yes, I would have been very shocked. Wow. So probably one of the very first renderings or sketches, concepts of Battle Cat, you know? I would think that this probably is. Um, wow. That is know. so cool. If you watch the toys that made us, or even if you watch the new documentary that just hit Netflix. Not now. yet. Uh, what is that? The Power. Um, Power of Grayskull or something? Yeah. Something. yeah. yeah. They talk about, you know, another guy that worked on He-Man talks about, he's, you know, he's the one that said um, to, you know, put a saddle on it, use the big Jim Tiger and put a saddle on it. But this picture, I think, I think Mark had a lot of input on what everything looked like. Yep, yep. Um, oh, that's but, impressive. Anyways. That's the play mat. Yeah. Oh, uh, that was supposed to go underneath Castle Grayskull. But due to budget reasons and fitting it in there and whatnot, they just uh, scrapped the idea. But they had already predetermined the um, or made this the artwork and whatnot. Um, there was a time where someone was reproducing these, and I almost I almost pulled the trigger and bought one. But then I was thinking, where am I going to put it? <laughs> I don't have no room. Yeah. And I mean, my Castle Grey Skull is kind of up high and you wouldn't be able to see it. I gotta put it on my flag. Oh man. Concept for the Merman. Let's show people one more. I want to show them, uh, is Ram Man in there? I don't think there is a Ram Man. Oh, okay. Here's a real one that you would I'll bring up. I'll bring up. You'll recognize right away. Because this one didn't change much. Whoa. Gosh. Yeah, she looks 
very similar or almost exact to how we finally got to see her. Because you'll notice these are probably, I don't know what they, they call them again. Um, but they, they make little changes from what they have in the design phase mm -hmm. till the actual toy. Some of them much more than others. Yep. You know. I'm gonna look at another one, but this would be Man at Arms, and he's, he, there's definitely way, changes. Way, way big. Wow, could you imagine if someone made this? I'm sure there's got to be some customs out there of this version. Whew, impressive, very, very cool. impressive. Thanks for showing me that. Oh, what's this in the background? <laughs> I'm seeing. Oh, uh, those are two of the exclusives that were at PowerCon for Drum Super Seven. Yeah. Uh, Uncle Montor and Driel. A couple right. of characters I'm pretty happy to get because I'm a big fan of that cartoon. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Nice little toys. As in exclusive, never be made available to the public? They're PowerCon exclusive. So, um, usually in the past, there will be some set big bad toy store sometimes. I don't know what availability is. I haven't checked. Yep. Um, but yeah, I noticed with some exclusives, meaning low production numbers, so five years from now, someone wants to get into uh, you know collecting these type of things. Hey, you missed your window, so the secondary market. Say you spent thirty dollars on this. I have no idea what you spent. Um, the secondary market could be like could be. Blast off. You never know. But that's not why we collect. That's not why we care. It's just an interesting side note. Um, Two other figures I picked up there, but did not have out because I had to ship them home. What? Was, um, Chopper and Chopper, which is actually uh, Jitsu. Yeah. They call him Chopper in the cartoon. That's he was in right. One episode. And um, Spike Or Filmation Spike Or. Ooh, how could you not fit that? Uh, because I didn't bring a lug. I only brought a carry on. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. So were these all right? So this stuff got. This is the stuff that got stuffed in my power in my carry on. Gotcha, gotcha. You didn't have to leave anything behind, like. No. Why don't you just leave clothes behind? <laughs> been cheaper. But you probably brought brought your your Sunday best, so you didn't want to leave anything. I was dressed to the nines there. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah, you wore a tux. <laughs> you did. That's how Stephen rolls. Um, personally, some of my favorites that came out of PowerCon are these Mythic Legions. Can we open them right now? No. Why not? I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with them yet. Are you gonna keep them mint on card? No. I don't Let's know. open them for people at home to give see. These to Travis. This you're gonna give them to Travis? I might. But I wanted this. You're gonna give this to Travis. Well, yeah, Travis asked first. Are you kidding me? You're making no. this up. Let's open Travis will not care if you open it. Uh I kinda wanna give him <laughs> a nice new That's figure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Battle Cat. Now, Mythic Legions, as we've seen over here, can you tell people, the readers, not the Stevens version, that'll take 5, 10, 20 minutes, but what are Mythic Legions? Mythic Legions are the Four Horsemen's own brand of fantasy figures, and they're super, ex uh, not expensive, um, super well sculpted and detailed, and they're beautiful, and I love them, and... I want to marry them. <laughs> uh, these aren't available in toy stores. You have to do what's called like a Kickstarter, right? So they basically know how many they're going to be selling from people signing up and committing money before they even are probably produced. And Mythic Legions made some, uh, what was that, homage? To homage, yeah. Homage, yes, thank you, tomato, tomato to the Masters line, which we just saw briefly. But before that, they came out with the Skeletor figure, which they called him like Kel Keldor or something. Keltus. Keltus, yes. Which is obviously um, Skeletor right there with his, his paint schemes. And then they're, oh. Which they basically just took pre-existing what they had with you know, chest and arms and whatnot, and then just change the color schemes to make them go along with the, the He-Man uh, look. But yeah. And I don't uh, know if you missed Duncan or Man-at-Arms oh. up here. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think that. But they made an orc 
Yeah. Man in Arms. Yeah. He's the orc's weapon builder. Oh. And, you know, Man in Arms was called Duncan in the cartoon. Yes. They call that orc Unkin. That's hilarious. So funny. So funny. So these are neat, and then the giant. I love how you set up. Your your best quality about you is your figure pose, posability, or how you set up your dioramas. You have a gift. Thanks. You have a gift, sir. Um, so these were only these aren't available anywhere else right now. Uh, PowerCon exclusive. Got the evil Lynn, who's kind of what is she like? Some type of witch orc type thing. Oh, I'm sure, there's a story. I haven't even had a chance to read it, but I'm sure that they made her some sort of sorceress or evil sorceress. Yep. And then obviously everyone's favorite lion, the cowardly lion, uh, Cringor, who turns into Battle Cat. Did they give him like a? I can't tell. I don't think so. It looks like they put something in there for some added flair. Some chess pieces. That's wonderful. What do we have over here? That did not come from PowerCon. That is just the new Strider I got from Super 7 recently. Ah. It was available at PowerCon, but I didn't get mine there. Oh, really? Is this recent? Yeah, very recent. Oh, okay. I think it came last week. Nice. And you're, why, why is Fisto your favorite there, Steven? I like guys with big fists. <laughs> you do? <laughs> no, Fisto just... Uh, what little boy doesn't like a guy that could just punch stuff? That's true. I mean, think about it. Yes. Why do little boys like the Hulk? Because he just pounds stuff. He just and, and bashes I things. just think Fisto... I always wanted Fisto when I was a kid, and I, it's one of the figures I never got. Yeah. And I remember having him as a, a kid. Most kids did. I played with a lot of other pe kids' Fistos. But That's I bizarre just, that your favorite figure you didn't have growing yeah. up. Any other fun, interesting stories from PowerCon? PowerCon was just fun all the way around. Um, I met a lot of people, um, became, I would say, friends with a lot of people. Um, was Me and Jeremy and Matt had a ball together. Um, yeah, because you're surrounded by so many people that love the exact same thing. I mean, yeah. we're talking about He-Man. You have a podcast about He-Man. Yeah. You surround yourself. Like, you wouldn't like me personally. I didn't like He-Man. You probably would have nothing to do with me. Um, but He-Man bind us together, so it's like... Yeah. I still really don't like you that much. It's it's more your collection that I like. <laughs> you use me for my toys. <laughs> um, I got to interview the Four Horsemen for the podcast, which is something I always wanted to do. Yeah. Um, that was cool, and those guys were great. Those guys are just fantastic. Yep. They've got a reputation for being nice guys. They really are. Right. Um, at least the ones I met. <laughs> Sure. Um, so, yeah. And you got to meet uh, Val Staples, who puts on the Did whole get to me. I got to talk to Val for a short period of time, and just that whole, that whole, um, group of people there, Daniel Benedict, Daniel Galerter, just that whole, Pixel Dan was there, you know, just the whole, everybody there was just great. Yeah. So. And, and unfortunately, I couldn't go because I had to work, and I worked weekends, yeah. and it was just impossible for me to get the time off, but... Hopefully there'll be a power con when I'm an old man and I retire and then I can do things that I really want to do. But not like you, where you just travel the, the globe willy-nilly and, and go. Any other fun, interesting, unique stories that uh, happened while you were there? Oh, man. There was uh, there was one fellow I met, and uh, he he really liked me. <laughs> like, liked you? I don't know, but... <laughs> A lot of people, you know, you just, there's people that meet you and you like them, and they like you, but this guy really liked me. Like, did he know you from Podcasters of the Universe or know no, who no, you were? No, 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 he did not know me from anything. Well, how'd you um, guys meet? I was just standing, uh, looking at a case, much like what's behind me here, and I was uh, admiring, I was actually at the Super 7 booth, and I was admiring their prototypes for their new filmation figures, which they have a filmation Fisto coming, which is much different than this Ooh. one, and very cool. Um, and I was pumped about that. I was like, oh, this is great. So I was standing there admiring it, and Snake Mountain, you see? Oh he my was, god, that looks amazing. He was right behind me, and I'll tell everybody, I've seen pictures, the size, the pictures, the size don't do it. It does the pictures do not do the size justice? No pun intended. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Because I said justice. Yeah. Oh my god. 
So horrible. Fail. So horrible. Um, so you're saying it's massive. It, it, when I looked at it, I was like, how are they going to get it to me? Because they're going to have to <laughs> drive it in a freight truck. Right. I mean, it's, it's just, and I don't see how they're going to tear it apart to mm-hmm. put it in, I don't know. But it's, it's beautiful. It's painted beautiful. It is fantastic. Yeah. Because you're going to love it. I, you know, can't wait. Uh, you might, yeah, you might get it. You I'm going to get, get it. Stuff. Oh, heck yeah. So, um. I didn't know if you were that dedicated of a fan. And, uh, so, really? <laughs> um, no, I, uh, I was admiring the new figures and, and this guy had a, a thick accent and it was, but was very, so he's not U.S. No, no, but very, very friendly. Yeah. And, uh, he really was impressed by my size. You know, you I'm, are a big guy. I am a big guy. And I, you know, to my chagrin, I, I don't like being, I'm kind of. I wish I was a little guy like you. <laughs> little guy? Okay. I'm just so, a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy, um, so he, he really was, we met and he was really, he did, you know, this to me. He really, and he really liked hold to on, put his hand on. We gotta, we gotta stand up and, he, he liked, what was he doing now? He just I mean, liked, fine. You know, he, he told me, you know, that I was a, he thought, he thought that I was built like a superhero. Okay. And he just, he really, he just kept... He was touching you yeah, like this? Yeah, he was this? really touching me. He was rubbing your shoulders. Yeah, yeah, slapping me a lot. And I thought, well, I guess we're friends now. Okay. You know, because, yeah. you know, and, that. and we parted ways. Okay. Uh, went and shopped, and, and then I happened to run into him again. And he also, he mentioned again, he's like, oh, I look like a superhero, blah, blah, blah. Su- what superhero? I don't know what he means. <laughs> I, I don't think I look like a superhero. Maybe I look like um, <laughs> Fat Albert or... Maybe something like that, but no, no. But this is just, I'm just saying what he said. Yeah. And then he, he really got into... He was massaging you? <laughs> no. And I was like, no, we... No. I was getting very, very flattered okay. by the care he was taking yes. and touching the arm. <laughs> and it was, I was like, wow, this guy really likes me. Yeah. And then he really, he did the... There's t- more? Oh, yeah, yeah. He, was, he wasn't done. He kind of... Touch me. Touch me, and then he, he got down and he, he he checked out my calves. He was not touching your now, calves. I have ridiculously large calves, so I can understand. Oh my that. God, that's as big as my thigh. I can my under- thigh yeah, it's ridiculous. Is, as, I hate myself. is smaller <laughs> than your calf. <laughs> so now that he's down, and I was wearing shorts, so it was, you know, he was feeling, and then I was like, you know. This guy I, likes you. Yeah, I think he really, really enjoys me. He likes you. And that's a, flattering. That is awesome. And now he's going to be a fan. Did you guys exchange phone numbers? Not phone numbers, no. Okay. Um, but uh, hopefully he'll he'll check us out. And oh, I'm sure he is. Sounds like he checked you out. That's awesome, man. You know how long it's been since I've been checked out? I check you out every time I come up. <laughs> I went home and I told my wife, I said, you know, you don't really appreciate me. Because I found I met a guy yeah. that really appreciates me. That likes you for who you are, for your toy, and then you share that toy bonding. And oh, there was a story that you told me a couple days ago that I wanted to talk about. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, you got off an elevator, and there was some little kid that was like, "Hey," yeah. uh, and it said your name. Perfect. Tell me that story. Uh, he he did. He recognized me. As, uh, said my first and last name, which took me aback. Little little kid, eight years old. Yeah. Then he told me that he recognized me from Justice Curry, and I, I said, listen, kid, <laughs> don't, I got right Hit down. the unsubscribe said, button. <laughs> Stay away from that guy. Do not aspire to be anything like no. that man. Yeah. That's... So. But literally, he said, I recognize you, because you've been on a oh few different gosh, videos of mine. you are such a diva. It's awesome you... to hear yeah. that a little kid watches. That's, yeah. That's probably my, my target market. <laughs> Eight to ten years old. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's neat that he recognized you. He, his dad probably loves He-Man. He was obviously at PowerCon, and they watched together as a bonding moment and knew your last name mm-hmm. from me. So, yeah, it is cool that the, the one thing he took away from your video was me. Yes, right? <laughs> so, no, uh, you know, all joking aside, PowerCon is great, and, and uh, if you are a fan of this stuff and you think it's worth making that trip, because it was a trip for me. We're in Michigan. Right. That's in California. So, um, And I didn't go see the ocean. I didn't see much of California or L.A. I didn't care. I was inside 
I can tell you, if somebody asked me, what's California like? I'd say a lot of traffic and nice elevators. <laughs> right. If you had unlimited resources, like you were bank, more than you are now, you're a multimillionaire, but say you were a billionaire, mm. what did you leave behind where if you had money flowing out, you'd I go, saw my I'd grail. that? Yeah, what was that? I've told you before, my grail is, because this is how I got He-Man when I was a child, is I got him in the two-pack with Battle Cat and He-Man. Oh, the original seal, yeah. and they had one there sealed. Don't you have something? I have the commemorative, Let's look at but that I don't have a real one. Okay, so what he's referring to is the He Man. What'd they have on that, by the way, as far as price? I believe it was 1300 Are you kidding me? Where is it's it? Right there. Oh. 1300 Yeah, I guess sealed. That's not too far out the realm of possibility. I talked about this before. But they didn't kind of have all the details when they, uh, when the, who, who did this one? Earl? I don't remember who, what? who painted this or oh, drew this. That's, um, um, he was there. Uh, gosh, you make me But he didn't out. know all the, the details, so he put multiple battle Rudy cats. Rudy Guerrero, or Rudy, not, Rudy Obrero. Oh, gotcha. Rudy Obrero. So you got Beast Man riding a battle cat, you got a Skeletor back there riding a battle cat, and then He-Man. Um, and I've heard just several stories over the years about there's just some type of... Show my Matt Walfords. Oh. Those are the, the big thing I brought. Where with. are we here? There's so much I can... Oh, here. Matt Walford is a wonderful um, customizer, and he does airbrush paintings of vintage figures uh, out of the UK. I've done... I'll put a video link right here for some of his work that I've talked about in past YouTube videos. Um, but I mean, he basically turns it into looking like a Indian in the cupboard, real life toy, and his his work is just ast astonishing. Love it. Um, is this the commemorative? Yep, this is the. This is the Ying to He Man's Yang, the two pack right there. Love it. Um, and I saw some of the Zolo worlds down here. So Michael Zolotrowski, who we mentioned earlier does these realm of the underworld type figures and there's so many different variations that he's put out um i think i have one of these coming here in the mail in the near future or several of them um that i put on pre-order i love it because these are legitimate vintage molds that he's turning out these new figures did you pick these up at PowerCon? The, those two I did. Oh, okay. Not the ones I get right now, those are Warrior Beasts. I pre-ordered those. Ah. And those came from the same place, the same guy. But um, Look at this! I need... Wh where did you get this? You know where I got that. I got that for a birthday party. That's right. You have other ones. Yes, I do. You want me to show I wa No, I want to buy them because I want to do that no, to you myself. Can't buy them. You don't. Hey, you have them tucked away where you don't even need them. This is one that you have. We'll knock it off the bill of all that money that you owe no. me. What? Make my bill zero and you owe me 500 bucks. <laughs> for a piece of paper that you got for free that you Kyle them, paid for you? 20 bucks for? I don't know what Kyle paid for them. I heard it was, they were limited. He edition. probably got them out of the dumpster and they were Good. thrown away. They were... Does it matter? <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it. So what's your next focus? What do you... Do you have a f complete run yet? Uh, no. No? Well, I mean, no. No, I don't. Of loose? Are not you trying to? Eventually, but I'm not I'm not running to the finish line. Yep. I like I like having things I can pick up here and there. Of course. Um, oh, and you got one from me recently. Yeah. Let's look at that one. Well, this is my box that I had to ship home. Oh! I guess it was today. a little bit bigger. Let's open it! No, not Come that. on! What did it, 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 it. Jeremy and my bolt stuff is in there. Oh, okay. I'm not opening that without Jeremy. Because Jeremy might have some delicate stuff in there. You never know. Yeah, it could some... something silky. <laughs> that's, that's true. Uh, can we look at your diorama right before? Oh my gosh, how many times do you have to fill that? I know. Film that. You know what? I, I probably could use some old B roll, but I'm going to show it anyway. <laughs> I wish you had, I need some spotlights. Steven, next time will you get some spotlights? Oh, it's so beautiful. It's probably the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my gosh, yes. Whoa. 
Now, S Steve won some type of, I don't know, what would you call it, a competition? Or... Uh, I was a runner-up in a diorama competition for Dark Horse Comics. Ah, uh, yes. And they sent you some type of figure before it was available for free. Yeah, I think it was multi-bot. Mm. Oh, okay. And uh, also uh, the Art of He-Man book, which is really good. Oh, really? Yep. I mean, this is just the cat's meow. Where are you going to put Snake, Snake Mountain? Mountain? Um, I think the, the diorama table is going to get expanded. How about you sell me this old diorama and you start from scratch? Does that sound like a good idea? Heck, like you, might, idea, you might be able to clear the bill. Five grand? <laughs> then you'll, you'll chip away at the bill. You'll be half off. <laughs> half, halfway there. Oh, you stuck the He-Man sword into the, the foam. That's cool. Not He-Man sword. That's Randor's, that's Randor's sword. sword. Well, you know, I tried to tell a story here. The bad guys have the castle. Randor's got his head down. He's ashamed. Oh, the good guys are coming to save him. I like it. That's neat. It's really neat. Well, thank you, Stephen, for uh, for giving us the grand tour. Um, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Let's take a tour of the bathroom. Um, hit that like and subscribe button. Check out Podcasters of the Universe or My Wife is Gonna Kill Me podcast. Uh, again, thank you. Steven's like, hey, can you go now? I'm sick of you being at my house. Love y'all. Take care. Any words, parting words of wisdom? Don't watch this guy. <laughs>from my wife is going to kill me. Travis, what makes you special? Um, my face, of You're, course. What do you yep. collect? Um, <laughs> I don't have a belly you don't button. have a belly button. I don't button. have a belly button. I, I, you oh have my gosh. Belly belly. That is like back. weird. I need to wash my hands. They put it back. This, used to collect belly this is Hobby Lobby. Before. Hobby's an amazing customizer. That's what makes him special. I answered yes, for yeah, you. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Never mind the fact uh, that I am nice guy. Kyle Moore. <laughs> Kyle, what makes you special? You want to see it? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what do you collect? Uh, everything. I really do collect everything. He's Beanie Babies. Problems. Beanie Babies? Uh, Beanie Babies is the only thing I don't collect and wrestling my, stuff. My Little Pony? Uh, if the is price it? is right. Okay, yeah. Hey, he's a man after my own heart. What's your name, sir? Ben Talmadge. Ben, what makes you special? I collect Transformers. He is the Transformer guy! He is the Transformer guy. Ben's awesome. That's He's me. a staple. at the. This is all the Michigan crowd. All my friends from Michigan here. And then the one, the only, uh, Jeremy. How That's, you doing, Jeremy? I'm okay. Jeremy. Jeremy, Jeremy what, you, sound, you sound down. What's going on? I'm, I'm just... I just want to open these toys up. <laughs> am I... I'm, am, <laughs> He's I'm holding He's tired of waiting on you, Justin. He's like, stop talking to everybody. But Jeremy is the co-host that we mentioned several times of Podcasters of the Universe. And they flew this, had it shipped from the PowerCon. Let's watch and not He's talk anymore. He's telling you have something open You said you had something. Steve, I... <laughs> yeah, you got the... I don't... I, we could punch I it. Have, I, think it's I have... I have... It's pretty tight. Broken. Broken. Frozen. Key. So he does collect everything. Why would you have a broken... What the frig? Because I could get into boxes with it. <laughs> Where did you get this frozen key, though? I want to know the pre-story. What will you That's sell funny. it to him for? Yeah. <laughs> That's his jam. That thing works. What, what was this? Did you have it made? Did this someone is, give it to this you? This is actually a key my wife uses, um, and it broke in the lock. So I just happen to have her keys today. <laughs> nope, so far, the foam is still intact. Everything looks pretty good, Jerry. You know, we do have to give some credit to Matthew Rodriguez for packing up my little figures here. I was just going to cram them in there, and he's like, no, no, no! <laughs> toilet paper move. No, toilet paper move. Something you just find in the hotel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I bought it! Fine! Yeah. Uh-oh, oh, the sword, it lost value. The sword came loose during shipping. I didn't plan with that.
Oh, they have. That one, yeah. Oh, it's been open. Maybe. Can we get two in here? There should be. Yep. So that one's probably Matthew's, and this one would be mine. Which is... Also oh. loose. Oh, they both. It's also loose. Yeah. So screw it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Matthew brought his own with him. Maybe he did. Oh yeah, you had two, didn't you? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, he brought his own with him. I got some stands. This one broke apart already, apparently in shipping. Oh boy. Uh oh. Were those uh four where did those stands come from? They were four horseman stands. They were actually figures were standing on them and some guy came up and goes, You guys sell any more stands? Like we don't have any. He goes, What about the ones here? Goes, eh, if you want all right, four for fifteen. I went, I would like some as well. Oh <laughs> nice. So yeah. Um I got a realm of the underworld. Uh this was a I think this or maybe, is this yours, Jeremy? No, I didn't get that guy. Who okay. cares? Open it! Rip it open. <laughs> oh, wow. They're pretty cool. I know I bought one from you a couple years ago. The translucent ones, yes. <laughs> that was from the Rick Kindle store. I can't believe they lasted as long as they did in my movie. I think you sold them. Probably. I paid three dollars each. Jeremy, what is that? This guy? Another realm of the underworld. Oh, what is it? Oh, yeah. so that, oh, that's the, I got a, I got, I went to a Mike Zolotaro's booth two days in a row and like dropped the most money in his booth <laughs> because these things are awesome. Yeah. You know what? I, I, I have like eight of them coming awesome. right now. But, I didn't. But you're telling me that the four horsemen are there and you're, that's the, the best stuff there? Did, it's what I was drawn to. Uh, <laughs> they have the best sculpting. They look awesome. Corn boy, we're sorry. Right. <laughs> I don't know. There's something cheesy. You know? Yeah, like, he ain't watching this. They're like not cheesy, but they are cheesy. I don't care. Sweet. I'm just glad you brought you bought a mythic <laughs> legion. Oh, I got a, I got a, I got a powercon pin from uh, uh, Motu Joe. Nice. And another. Motu Nation wants you that I actually designed the drawing on this thing. You did? Really? Yeah, I saw a bunch of people wearing these things. I'm like, yeah. I was like, where's my money? Where's my money? Are you getting commissions on that stuff from Motu Joe? Or? Yeah, he's hooking me up, man. Nice. Yeah. That is mine. Okay. Yep. Maybe, maybe next year he's going to be flying you out to Power Cat. Maybe. Yeah. Power count exclusive. I asked Thank Joe you. for one of the pins. I go, hey, can I have one? It's like you weren't at the con. It's an exclusive only to the con. I'm like, what? I can't have one. He goes, nope. Yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be random weapons lying around in this toilet paper. Wow. Use toilet paper. Wow, Matt. Man. <laughs> yeah, Matt Rodriguez. Rodriguez, that's pretty classy. Hey, be careful because knowing Matt, that could be used. Dude, his family did build a raft to get into America. So oh. So I got another one. He's what? nice and awesome. The views and opinions expressed here do not reflect my <laughs> justice Curry. <laughs> oh, what else? Well, Tussle. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Stephen yeah. already. Oh, we were oh, sweet, sweet oh. slime green. Nice. Yeah, I got suckered into getting. I didn't get any. You, you got, got suckered into. I did get suckered into it. How long did it take you? Three I, seconds. I, hey, Jeremy, you should. Okay. <laughs> I, I was in line. Okay, I waited in line, got my passes, got the things for my free figures. Not free, I paid for them, but for my figures. And then like we're walking around, hanging out with people. What? And I saw a dude like had him on a table. He's looking at him all and yeah. snake mountain. I'm like, man, I knew it. Because remember before I was like, should I get these or not? And you're like, oh, you <laughs> like, so I ran there. Eight o'clock. <laughs> I made it. No, is there, that's it though. I mean, uh, is there like like ten of them and that's it, or could you pick something up? No, that was does that go to it? Yeah, yeah that, I got like random weapons. Uh, he threw some in for free, and there's maybe that's what it was. A cup, but maybe a cup. There's a mad ball. Oh, it's one of the uh, the the newer, smaller. Like, I think kid robot vinyl ones. I actually gathered yeah, three of them. Hard. Come they come on. with little stands too. This is hard. Those are yeah. so cool. This is really hard. Yeah, you yeah. Can, uh... feel this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can hurt somebody with these what things. Are those? Mad, Mad balls. balls, the kid robots. No, no the smaller. Kind of sweet. Uh, one of my head Whoa. heads from my head pack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of loose shit in here. Um. 
What? He was, like, he was like a buck. Hey, <laughs> so like, why not? I do customizing on turtles. Why not? Yeah, he won't be when I'm done with yeah, it. Yeah, but I think you're. Is anything awesome. yours in here, Steven? Yeah, yeah, his stuff's, stuff's on the bottom of mine, so uh, I gotta go through all that crap. Another Jerry. head. Jerry! What'd I do? These are customs, right? No. They're legitimate med balls? Yeah, they're like uh, mini blind boxes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I had one, and then I was there, and I bought another. I'm like, great, now I can balance out my shelf. See how long yeah. it And then I was Steven wanting to spend it. money and stuff, and walking around, I'm like, well, I'll grab a couple more. <laughs> I got Fangman's weapon again after I lost it. No. Oh, you me about that. They were selling them individually. Yeah. yeah, there was a guy who had a bunch of stuff just sitting there in a in a bin. I'm like, dude, you happen to have Fangman's weapon? He goes, actually, wow. finds it immediately. I'm like, yeah, buddy. That's awesome. Uh, what are you looking for? Dude from Turtles Three. <laughs> what? <laughs> dude, if you'd asked me, I would have told you got that out of a Happy Meal. <laughs> Well, that's about the quality. How much did he pay you to take that figure? Because that's about uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, I'm a turtle collector. Hey. What can I say? Uh, that's the yours. That's Rem really neat. Did you see that he's... Did he have yeah, on display the giant one of these? At his booth? No. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be talking about it. <laughs> he did say he's he's working on some giants. So yep. They decided they must have had the molds or something like that. Or similar molds. Very cool, huh? He's, got, he's got, like, got like the rights to smell them now, so he's got the rights really? to all the molds. Happiness. Not trying to complete that. What? That realm of the underworld yeah. stuff? You can't. There's too many variants. Well, don't do the variants. There is no regular yeah, one. They're all regular ones. Do the variants just do the regular ones? Come to on. a completist? That's, that's like asking a fat kid not to eat cake. Right. Just, just to eat healthy. <laughs> Child, do you want to go to power time? Is that something you're going to do? Ooh, a head to top. Maybe. I think you're curious. Because you're not going to spend the whole weekend yeah. at the show kind of guy. Yeah. All right. I'm not. You will. I was just wasting three days of knowledge yet. I can't smell. You can't smell? Yeah, yeah I mean, very well. It's one of those things. Oh, man. That's so no fun. Did you, you smell that in the Jeep earlier? Yeah. <laughs> I would love to do that. I blew some it up. And some heads. When Got I a, a, wall, a green and yellow like skeleton wall, dude. That is so don't cool. Me, don't ask me to do you stole something. that from me. Yeah, I did. How do you steal it from me? He found it and I wanted it and I couldn't find another one. It was the last one like this. They had a green one. Like the, other night, the first thing we were setting up. Didn't he have an exclusive? Yeah, we're setting up. I don't know Wasn't there some PowerCon exclusives? Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. so, so this is hilarious. We're setting up. And I thought we were going to be This one is, like, well, this, oh, no, one of these is yours. One is mine. You know, why? I already had my mind set. Carl, oh. I already had my mind set. The but then there's another exclusive yeah, in the little white box. Yeah, right here. With white boxes right there. I did. Um, I got a cowl. Oh my god. So anyways. So anyways, I'll take I, I took my car and I parked over in Those two. I took got these for my set up some more. And my woman and my daughter because uh, they like they'll go something like it. Okay, so what's the size? Still haven't it's watched it yet. I go, I know dinner. Yeah, it's pretty what? sweet. How about yeah. dinner? I go, Here's the uh, other exclusive. I, go, I haven't eaten since 11. From <laughs> Zola yeah. World. Make those yep. mad, then. Not, oh, not five yes. Right there. Pretty sweet. Wow! Oh, I was like, yeah, this ain't our stuff. No, no, no. Well, Bill did say that. That's cool. <laughs> getting close, Steve. Getting close to your stuff. <laughs> uh, that was good dinner. <gasps> did he, did he I wanna, did you guys watch it all yet? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Done. How was it? Was it really good? Yeah. Got a fist uh, over 20 bucks. Is good. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. 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 Thanks. For sure. Spice is good. They got a great chicken kebab on there. We uh, had the, uh, I had the, uh, these thingies. People were going nuts because this was an exclusive originally um, in Germany at some type of con there. So the secondary market on them was insane for anti-attorney man with the... Uh, oh, and this is the... These were exclusives. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't like that. The unboxing that, yeah, yeah. con in Mexico. I got these for a buddy. So I got the whole set for him. Am I the buddy? No. What? So Didn't you get my text? This the text. Can I look at him? He sent, he sent nudes. <laughs> wow. Looks like they they managed to survive the the trek, so that's good. Now they have to go to Australia. So these are based off a miscolored page in a comic. Yep, one page. <laughs> wow. The guy comes up. Three Stratoses. Oh, is this the page right there? 
Yep. That's it. One one picture in a book. Yeah, yeah Motu oh. Joe picked me up a set, but I told him, don't give me all the variants of the this Stratos. I don't but need it. But it's got blue beard, blue beard Stratos. Yep. Yeah, yeah, mini comic, nice. blue beard, and then... Oh, yeah, yeah. And then oh, look at they must uh, have the red wing one out arm, already. Yeah, yeah. different color wings. Yeah. Right. This is I'm most excited about the camel oh, yeah. Cobra Con. I actually my favorite out of them is probably Merman. Yeah. There's something about those colors that works for me. Wow. I love going out of these. Good thing I don't collect these things. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do. And 15 so bucks a pop, and they have the so many different ones. These are all the five points of articulation. What I call the five. How dare you, it sir? It doesn't matter how That's beautiful cool. they are. Yeah, they are. I like them. They are cool. On the cards, unpunched. I really, I do like unpunched. them. Unpunched. Zolo stuff. <laughs> Don't Original VHS? I know, I'm gonna put them. Who's this? Yours or Jeremy's? <laughs> I don't know, it's my mother-in-law. Somebody was selling VHS tapes there? Oh, heavens. He probably yeah, spent $500. <laughs> what I got, too. They were selling the VHS. I go, how much you want for the VHS? They go, fuck a piece. What? Oh, wow. Yeah. At a Motu convention. Yep. That's, they're the same people that sold me the fist over 20 bucks. Those were a buck a piece. Yeah. Look at the tape on that. That is that is 1980. Yeah. <laughs> what fist, though? The, the 2000X. Oh. Oh, with the giant just... fist? Is that the one with the giant fist? Oh, battle fist. fist. No, that's not fist. Well, that's oh, yes, fist. battle fist. I'm, I'm sorry, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah, I got, whoa. yeah, I got me a couple few of these. Right yeah. You still have a VCR? I do. Good. I actually have one. I'll never play them. But, but the artwork is probably why you bought them. Exactly. They will display very nicely. I'm just going to take over Stephen's spots. And Stephen was running out of steam and falling asleep. Yeah, he's like, man. Right next to his He's like, I'm old. I need these youngins out of my house. Another one, all black. Nice. Metal. Oh, it just keeps going, guys. We're almost to Steve's stuff. We're almost to Steve's stuff. taking his chair. Uh oh. There we go. This dude he didn't want to give me. It was the only one he had. Actually, Whoa. he kind of wanted to, but listen. Uh oh. There's loose flashing in there. It's not broken or anything. It's just a piece of flash just got yeah. put inside, and he goes, I'm like, that, that's badass, dude. Yeah. He says, all right, I'll sell it to you. And then I got an awesome purpley, purpley pink Whoa. glittery hammer to go with him. <laughs> Sell stuff to you that they Dude, my smile just won the hearts of yeah. many this it's weekend. Too. Yeah. <laughs> I won't keep messing with Steven. Come on, Steven. Take a load oh, off. You're the birth. Boxes. They got some of the, 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 the Keshi surprise. Have you opened them? Yeah, I got a couple she oh. and a couple uh, Horde figures. You got Horde Act. So they come with little. It's a keychain skull? Quasi muscle. Oh, yeah, one. I've got a keychain skull too. Oh, they're like muscles. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Thing there. Oh. I just Put can't. I want them so bad, but I can't justify oh. getting multiples and spending the money <laughs> and going, oh, great, I just got five it's Hordex in a row skull. because that, that was just it. it. Like, you, you run the risk of getting some And it's, and it's stuff, genius but. marketing to try to do these blind bags because we want them all. You start buying a few of them, you want to get a complete set, so you got to keep buying, buying, buying. Just like those Lego mini figures that they were doing. Oh, that skull. The this comes with a sticker. This one comes with a skull. Oh, no. I put the skull in there. Oh. <laughs> oh. The skull came from Zola World as well. Oh. I figured my girl would get a kick out of it. There sticker. we go. Now we're into some of Steven's stuff. Here we go. It's the same stuff that I had. Sorry. Move on. Still your thunder. No, here. I'll get, of course, the... Oh, well, let's look at them. Oh boy, Spike or Driel and Uncle Montour. Oh, we gotta see those and shop. Here, let's all take one. There you go. Open them up, fellas. Wow, look at you. <laughs> look at you. You're just a giver. You guys didn't know you were getting gifts, did you? And you can rip them out. You can open them. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna see how quick they melt in the microwave. Oh, I'm giving sweet. permission to open them. Oh. That's pretty cool. And yeah. just when I didn't think I was going to buy the filmation stuff, too. Oh, yeah. What do we have here? No. Whoa! Filmation style. Yeah. Awesome. Jitsu, I mean Chopper. Chopper, because they, they, <laughs> they lost called the them Chopper. Them. Yeah, they lost the name on them. Who'd they lose the name to? Look at it. He doesn't have the, uh, the gold hand. No, I mean, they lose the. they don't renew the trademark. Uh, no. 
originally he was called Chopper. What was it, Stephen? Stephen, what was the backstory with Chopper? Like in the cartoon? No, in the cartoon they originally called him Chopper. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a throwback. In the the motion cartoon. Yeah, they, but they didn't. He didn't really even have a name. They never called him out by name. No, but his his name in the notes was Chopper. That's right. The sketch. Yeah. Chris, if I give you a. Yours? I yeah, want to buy I this. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yes. Really yeah. Really I'll buy it. Yeah. Three, three three right Deal. <laughs> the, the, the director was there. We handshake. <laughs> Sign here. Awesome. But I seriously do. I like that. Um, because I tried to open that one that Stephen had, and he's like, "It's for Travis." I, I go, "Travis is gonna freaking flip it. I'll so buy I'm it." No, no, I'm gonna keep it, but just you know, I see now this is right here. I have extra. Oh. I don't. Yeah, I will have it until they they deliver them. But I will have one. Mr. Curry. Yes, sir. Oh, there you go. We got the Barbie dolls. Awesome. Like a man. Woo! You guys, you ever see this opened up? Let's undress it. It's gonna open up just an empty box. We forgot to put it in. <laughs> <laughs> Some 12-inch GI Joes. TSA agent thought it was gonna be a good Christmas gift. Wow, that even looks. This was from a few years back, right? No. Yeah, a few years. It's been around. So this wasn't exclusive this year? No. No. So no, the thing is... You were on the hunt for this at the show. They were showing other figures there that oh. aren't in production yet. Sorry, Jeremy. Oh, She's cool. literally like a articulated Barbie. Oh, is this the one that was on? you could get on Mattel for a while? But with the launch of the cartoon, I bet you this sucker is kind of going up. I bought it. Price. <laughs> Not only that, but they're they're showing off other figures there that may come to light. Is that what we were? Yeah. Okay. I okay. showed a He-Man. Oh, of this oh, scale? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Boonstra sent Whoa, the pictures of those. Yeah. Really? There were a ton of those. Like a half That's dozen. Well, so that was the Maddie Collector one. Yes, this was on Maddie oh, Collector. Okay. What's inside so here? Those aren't going to be yeah, like the that jumbos one. that oh. bring that. No, they're going to be more like this. Tell you what I'll do with yes. Yes. Uh, I'll pass. They're oh, Barbie doll. Like a jumbo. I'm seeing if you can open this. I'm just going to rip it. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, What's this? Oh, funk on there. Sorceress. Oh, man. Yeah, one dar too? Oh, it's yeah, those were band, all or, uh, rubber band. Had, what was weird is like they had all these giants, but then they also had like little versions. So, I don't know if the Wonder Bread He-Man was okay, like, I, custom they made. Yeah, yeah. Let's it was, see this it, thing. I was trying to figure it out which one was going to be. The Power of Grey Skull. The definition or definite history of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. I think the word is definitive. That's what I said. <laughs> Rewind it. Definitive. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I met the director or one of the directors. So you watched it? Um, I had. I watched it. <laughs> On Netflix while we were at the con. But I didn't realize it was on Netflix. Is it already yeah, on it's on Netflix, yeah. Oh, I want to watch this. It started on Friday. Okay, sounds good. Um, right. But this is the, uh, the Kickstarter backer. <laughs> I don't know. But he decided that he was going to sell them, but he had to sell at the Kickstarter <laughs> price to people. Yep. Yeah. So uh, the, he signed it, you know, and I don't oh, yeah. the horse it's you know. And, and Mochu Joe contributed or was some type of backer okay. with the Kickstarter. Yeah, if, yeah, if so you were a backer, your name got put in the movie and stuff like that. Yeah, the credits. He's telling me about who's involved in it. Really cool. That's awesome. I did bring some stuff home with me, though. So Halloween! Skeletor cell. Thanks for Claire. From the cartoon. Oh. They wouldn't be here for. Yeah. Or me. Taking a dog. Did Jason buy a lot of cells? Because that's his you thing. Know, they, they, they uh, you know what? Just did you know. happen to see if they, they Jason bought a lot of cells? I didn't see if he did. But he, he said. He, he was going after some sectors ones. Yeah, I know yeah, he wants some yeah, sectors right. ones. But Jason. And Visionary. He got a Visionary yeah, I almost unproduced. Pac Man one. Look crazy. It's like a dumb picture. There were some Mad Balls ones, but it was like the chick that was in the. That is like a. a did you ever see the cartoons over his chest? Yeah, like Balls had a cartoon. They had like two VHS. Yeah, and I am so old. All right, guys, pretend like you like me and say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, Justice Curry here. Sad day. I always joke about um, my I do not want to sell price and everything's for sale, but you know if I don't want to sell it, it's going to be a super expensive price. Well, someone called me out on that and said, "What's your I do not want to sell price on your Hordak Grizzlor two pack, as well as uh, the Tila." And Zor, these are super rare. 
I know what I paid for them. It was a pretty penny, but this person was persistent, kept bumping up the price, and it was one of those things where I'm just going, you know, it's a thing. Maybe I'll find it again in my lifetime. Maybe I won't. But sometimes when someone throws a giant amount of money at you and you go, I probably, when it does come time to sell, I won't find someone willing to pay that much. So I, I have to do it. And it's sad. People can call me a sellout if you want to. But uh, my air conditioner broke a week and a half ago. It's like $4,000. So... I'm human, I need to make money and make my wife happy because our house is an inferno. It's beautiful, I wanted to document it. One last time, I hope to find it. If you have one of these and you go, you know what, someday you wanna sell, I will pay good money to buy this again. Um, artwork is just fantastic. Still have some other gems up there. The other Stridor and Night Stalker Jitsu Fisto 2 packs, as well as the Screech and Skeletor and E Man Battle Cat. And one of my personal favorites over there, the Land Shark and um, Skeletor. And I realized too, because I'm a completionist, uh, there's a couple other ones that I really wanted, like the Battle for Eternia. And then there was like a Flying Fist He Man and like a Terror Claws. Uh, Skeletor 2-pack and from what I understand those ones go for like eight thousand twelve thousand dollars, you know, so Obviously, I, I don't have that kind of money. I, even if I did I'm not gonna spend that amount of coin on those so Knowing that I'll never have all the gift sets kind of makes it a little easier for me to let go of these I've had them for in my collection for you know a year or two three. I don't remember but they're going to another home. I'm getting emotional right now. I gotta go. Bye. Love y'all. Hit that subscribe button.